All right, so today we're going to be playing the GT and hopefully getting 10 and 0. Alrighty, so this guy was using uh, like a strange deck. I mean, like with GTs, like like the first like games of your GT, like it's all like like weed decks. So yeah, this guy was using a weed deck. He was using like a Pekka with Goblin Barrel, uh, Wizard and Log and all that. So here goes Pekka and Log. So I just go for like easy defense, just Musketeer. I just like Log the Goblin Barrel, very easy. I uh, just Log the Ice Spirit and. Yeah, I also go for Ice Glom to protect my Musketeer, but pretty bad Ice Glom placement because the Musketeer actually goes in front. So I just go for a Hog with this. He goes with 9 Witch. Um, I don't want to fireball that, but he gave me like more fireball value, so I just took it. My Musketeer actually locks on as well. And right here, like, I could have locked the Wizard, but there's like no point, like... If if he plays something in front of this, then I'll log it. But because he didn't place anything in front of it, like I decided not to log it. Like, why not? You know, just say to save the two Alexa. And he also has the Goblin Barrel, so like I'd rather keep that for it. So I just go skeletons, uh, Ice Spirit. He goes Pekka, so I just go Ice Golem, Hog, Left Lane. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So like, he also had the Mega Knight. Uh, he just Mega Knight is. Yeah, so here, um, like, I'm not scared at all. I just go for a cannon. Uh, I go for, uh, go for skeletons. I wanted, to, I wanted to kill the P.E.K.K.A. like as soon as possible before the Mega Knight comes. So I'd go for Ice Spirit for and I just cut everything. And, I, uh, and yeah, like, that's, like, really easy defense. And I have damage in both lanes. So here, I just go as Goblin Barrel, so I just log it, like, really easy. I'll just go hog left lane because now he has to defend both pushes, both lanes. And uh like both of his towers are pretty low, so he has to defend them or else we'll take it out. So I'll just go for skeletons to hopefully get like two hits because he went with ice electros in and if you get a skeleton or ice spear and stuff, um or anything, the hog will get two hits, which he did. So here I'll just go for a cannon. I'll just get a hog opposite lane, make him use like a mega knight. I just log Fireball the Wizard. I went log first so I can cycle back to another one faster for his Goblin Barrel. Right here, I just go for the Musketeer. I'm just Ice Golem. Yeah, it's very easy to defend like Pekka and Mega Knight. Uh, Ice Spirit, I just log his Goblin Barrel. I just go hog right lane because his left lane is pretty much dead. Just Fireball and log. I actually have no idea how much Fireball log does. So here, I was hoping for it to be enough. I wasn't sure, so I just went with an Ice Spirit. But then, but then I looked, I did that trick how you hold and tells you like the damage and stuff, which said 72 and it was enough, and yeah, GG's. Alright, so for my second game, I, I was actually screen recording it, and then like someone called me, and then the screen recording ended, so like, I'm sorry about that, but anyway, it wasn't even like a good game, like you were just like, very easy and very boring anyway so it's like my this is this is for my third win this game so yeah i just like this goblin barrel i'll just go for a hog rider i didn't want to i didn't want to fireball the wizard like right now because if, if i went hog rider and fireball his wizard that's like eight alexa and i wanted to see what he would do against my hog rider to see if i like i need that four extra card like the four four for the four alexa because i can turn the wizard pretty easily I just went, I just went with cannon and like ice bomb. Yeah, I just fireball the furnace. I should have probably locked the furnace here, but it's fine. So here, um, like pretty strange hand. Like, um, I didn't know what to do for the uh, fire spirit. So here, because the fire furnace was about to die, I tanked. I tanked for that fire spirit with the hog rider because the hog rider would have went to the tower instead of the furnace. My hog rider actually gets my hit, so that's really good. So here, you know, I just activate my King Tower, go with Cannon and Ice Barrel. I just logged the Golden Barrel, like, very easy. And I wasn't scared, like, he was going to pred predict this or something. Like, like I wasn't even scared. Like, I knew he wasn't able to predict it. And yeah, like, easy King Tower activation. Uh, I'll just go for Ice uh, Skeletons. Uh, he goes with it, so I'll just go Hog right in as well. He goes with Leap Over So once again, I'll just go for a Cannon. 
And I get for Ice Cream once the Elite Barbarians and the Wizard like birth were targeted like birth were targeted by the Princess Towers. I just fabble the furnace and here I was hoping for the cannon to heal the fire spirits. Uh but it didn't, so that was actually really annoying. Uh yeah, it didn't. Like that's annoying. See so yeah, I just get for hog right lane. Here goes the Mega Knight, so uh, just get from Muscatine in the back. Here go, here goes Rocket. Uh, I'll just get for Ice Gun for that. Uh, I get for Ice Spirit. I just log and I'll just get for another Hog Rider. Get for Skeletons. Uh, once again, just Ice Gun. Uh, I'll just get for Ice Spirit. I'll just log here because I can suckle back to another log anyway for his Goblin Barrel. I just fall with his furnace, skeletons go, ice golem. He goes make a minion, uh, so make it not like that, so I'll just get for a cannon ice spirit. Uh, I'll just get for a musketeer, because I'm nothing else to do. I wanted to keep my luck for his goblin barrel, and yeah, GG's. Alright, so this is for our fourth win. Uh, he was using uh, Pekka Bridge Spam. Like with, yeah, Pekka Bridge Spam is like Magic Archer and stuff. So I'll just go for Ice Bread Chip. He goes to Bandit. So I'll just go Ice Golem same lane. Um, I'll just lock the Bandit. And I'll just go for Skeletons. So it doesn't dash on my Ice Golem and my Ice Golem will be pretty healthy. So this is really annoying. Like, I can't fight with Magic Archer right now because if I do, then if. Like, he would just get for Pekka for my Hog Rider, and like, I'll be like pretty low on Elixir. But he didn't get for Pekka, he gave me like a lot of, a lot of fireball value, so I just took it. Like, very good fireball value. Mm. Right here, I'm just, I'll just get for Ice Spirit Chip. He goes to Bandit, so yeah, I just log, and I knew he had Zap in hand, so. I was being like very careful with my skeleton placements, but luckily it didn't like predict it. So I just get a hog left lane, pretty good timing because he went battle ram same time. I'll just go for a cannon and here. I just I wanted to keep my cannon alive to take out his Pekka, so I just went as the ice spirit. And now all I have to do is pretty much uh, kite the Pekka and just bubble the magic archer. If because because I spent one Alexa extra with the ice spirit to keep my cannon alive. Like in, like I don't I don't have to go for four Alexa for Musketeer now. The cannon pretty much takes it out, so like that was like a pretty good, like idea of keeping my cannon alive. Now I just get a hook skeletons the flame. Like he reacted pretty fast with electricity. See, so yeah, I just look. Go for an ice spirit, and I go for an ice golem because I don't want the. Bandit to charge on my ice golem. He goes that so I just got cannon up high, very good cannon because it takes out the battle ram and kills the ghost, like very valuable cannon. Got uh, cannon. My guy gets two, is very good. So I just get for musketeer in the back. I'll just look his tail. I get, I get for ice golem, just cut everything. Yeah, I just I fought with that lecture was it? Uh, that was alright, I guess. So here. Yeah. This is where, like, I almost, like, screw, screw it up, like, yeah, if I lost this game, I would have been very mad, bro, like, it's, me like, it's very, very frustrating when you lose a game, like, below 10 wins, like, oh, that's annoying, bro, I get very annoyed, luckily he wasn't, he, he stopped spamming here, I feel, I feel like if he kept spamming, he would have, um, taken out my tower, but luckily he didn't, and, uh, yeah, that was pretty close, GG's. Alrighty, so this is for our fifth win, almost halfway there. Uh, he was using Golem with the, uh, like he didn't have a big spell. He had like, Elite Barbarians, Bandit, Electro Spear, and stuff. Very very strange. So here he went Golem in the back. So 
I had, I had a choice, go with skeletons with the hog rider or ice pair with the hog rider. I decided to go with skeletons because most golem decks usually have NATO and with skeletons, like, it's better if you guys NATO because, like, he has to respond to the skeletons as well or to do a lot of damage. And, like, if I go hog ice spirit and he ignores it, like, he won't take out the tower, but if I go hog skeletons and he ignores it, it will take out the tower. So that's why hog skeletons is better. So yeah, I just went for skeletons. I had to go for another cannon. And yeah, that's actually pretty good defense. Uh, I just had to go for ice gone for Zilli Barbarians and... Yeah, pretty much took no damage and I did a lot of damage on his tower, so it's looking really good right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's up in Alexa, so I'm just like serving up my Alexa right now. I just left the bomber. He goes, so he's up by 4 Alexa, so. I just want to hook skeletons right lane because I wanted him to use his NATO so like the, he doesn't have a way to kill my musketeer because he doesn't have a big spell. His only way to kill my musketeer is for like an tornadoing it, like tornadoing tornado it like on his troops but now he doesn't have it anymore so my musketeer will get a lot of value. So I'll just go for Ice Spirit, cut everything and I go for musketeer like that. Uh, here I didn't want to get a skeletons because I knew he'll go with the bandit on the bridge so I wanted to keep my skeletons for his bandit, so I just logged instead, and... Yep, yeah, I probably should have Ice Spirit, like, at least, like, left for the right lane, like, probably the right lane for the elite bubbles, but... You know, it's fine anyway. If you guys know which, I'll just fireball it. I go for Ice Spirit, Ice Golems, and uh, he goes Golems, so I just log it, goes to cannon, I go skeletons to DPS down the Golem. Now I go for Musketeer. I'll just cut everything. He goes pretty bad in the like he doesn't do anything. I have to log the bandit and Yeah, um my musk he goes the Elite Bob's in the bridge here, yeah, so I just go for a cannon. I go for Hog Rider and then I go just go for skeletons. I take out his tower, so all I have to know is pretty much defend, just go for Musketeer. Uh, Ice Golem, Ice Spirit, Log, and yeah, GG's. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, like and subscribe. I'm, I'm actually really close to 400 subscribers, so yeah, subscribe. Alrighty, next game. So he went Warbreakers first play. Um, and then I just go for Hog Rider, and he goes with a uh, Skeleton Army. I'm pretty sure. So right here, I was not gonna lie. I was kind of scared. I'm like, oh no, this is gonna be my first Goblin Jewel match. Oh, it's gonna be very bad. But he wasn't actually using Goblin Jewel. He was like right here. I didn't have to respond to the Skeleton Army. That was really good. My can gets a lot of value. So he was using like Pekka with Musketeer Goblin Barrel deck. A very easy matchup. So I just get four decks like these are really easy for two point six, like very easy. So here I just get for an ice column, just go for a musketeer. I just log his goblin barrel, I go hog right lane. So I just get for skeletons. Uh, I go a very good ice spirit placement, like it freezes both of the musketeer and the pekka. And his wall break is one of them gets a hit, but it's fine. Uh, like I've got a lot of damage on his tower anyway. Uh, I just go for Ice Golem for his Skeleton Army. Uh, I just go Hog take out his tower, cause why not? Like, I'm up in Alexa and I just want to take it. I get everyone done with. He goes his Musketeer, so I just fly ball it. He goes to Pekka, so I'll just go for Musketeer. I'll just like the Goblin Girl, like very easy. I'll just go for Skeleton, I'll just go for Kenneth for his Wall Breakers. Go for Ice Spirit. And you're like very easy defense. So right now, all I have to do is defend, but 
I also wanted to take out his tower because like GT like getting crowns is very important so I went Ice Glam Hog also it's a log because it's Goblin Relic so I just fireball it yeah so I'm still like trying to take out his uh, tower so I just go Hog Skeleton for his wall breaker then one of them gets a hit it's fine uh, just I wanted to get I wanted to get a hog ice cream, but I just got to take out like snow points. So I guess so. I just like fireball the musketeer, go ice cream hog and skeletons to distract the pecker. I just go for look for a skeleton on me. Even though he had like gobble barrel on my tower, like I had a musketeer. Then I see I just wanted to take out his tower. I get for musketeer in a bridge. I just bubble his tower and yeah, GGs. Alrighty, so this guy was using the Royal Giant deck with the cage and the fisherman and stuff. So how'd you go for skeletons? How'd you go for ice bear on this tower? Uh, here I just sniped the cage with the musketeer. I was getting my ice gun ready just in case if you like want something to snipe it. So I went for ice gun. If I was fast enough, like if I went skeletons, like if I had it in hand, I would have been like, I would have been able to like use it faster, but. I didn't have it in my hand, like my next card, so by the time I went to my hand and I placed it, like my musketeer would have been dead, so I just let it go. So yeah, I just go for hog, oh uh, sorry, musketeer was skeletons. Pretty bad the ice cream, like, because here I realized that he didn't have a barbarian barrel in the hand, so. So going with uh, ice cream would be pretty annoying for him, because like, be, like, he has to waste a lot of elixir to defend it, and but. Then like by the time like I thought about that uh, when it was the uh, ice comb then his minion minion already took out my musketeer so I was annoying but he still was, uh, he still went with the uh, mother witch so it's fine now I just fireball the mother witch. Uh here he goes to the cage so uh, he was up by four Alexa so that's like very scary like that could have been very scary. Uh here I just look the dark prince. Uh, I just go for musketeer in the back. Here yeah, I just go for a cannon up high so you can't fire up with a tower in the cannon. Just go for ice spirit. Go for an ice golem. So here I just log skeletons. The good thing about him having barbarian bro is he can't like f like take finish my musketeer off so we get a lot of value. So here he went with uh, barbarian bro. So I want to hog guard like a really good hog because it, it like it tanks for the. Uh, barbarian barrel and he has to go with the fisherman and my hog gets a hit so that was good so right here I just go for an ice spirit and I just go for ice column for his fisherman uh, I just go for musketeer and I just look his dark prince you see, with this matchup like even though like these plays aren't the best plays, like you still have to play well to win. Like if you make a mistake and they can just like keep sparing cards and you can like easily like like beat you. So I just go uh cannon musketeer, ice spirit, skeletons. Yeah, very like easy defense. Uh just go for hog right lane. He goes to the cage, but it's fine. Like, I can just log it. And my glider gets no hits because he went with the Mega Minion. So I just get a kite every second. I go for a Musketeer. I go skeleton like that. Really good skeleton placement because, like, he, he, like cause if I put on Dark Prince, the Dark Prince would have, like, just splashed and taken the lab. But because I put it on, uh, like, Brawler, which doesn't do splash damage, so the Dark Prince had to walk all the way to the Brawler. And the skeleton was, like, like doing some damage to the the brawl and stuff so that was good so i just go for an ice spirit i just go for a hog white uh hog white right lane so i just go for a cannon so he goes to fable on my uh hog and so that was really good because if you fable my cannon uh i mean it would have got a lot of damage but like it would not have been like tower but you know it's fine so yeah i just go for ice spirit uh here i didn't want to cycle anything like 
Like I don't know what to cycle. Like, but because he went mus black prince in the in the left like back in the left lane, so I just went musketeer left lane as well. Because the thing is, if I cycle musketeer, I'll just get rolled around up Selena, and it'll start on my musketeer. It'll be pretty hard to defend. So I just go for a cannon. Uh, I spare. I just fireball all that. Pretty good fireball. Skeletons. Uh, just go for a musketeer. Ice golem. Just go for an ice spirit. Yeah, I just log and I go for the hog rider. So because my musketeer is like that, I went with the hog rider. So it doesn't like you can't fireball my musketeer and my cannon. Uh, so I just go for a log. Uh, musketeer, ice spirit. I don't know how much fireball log does. Uh, so like I wasn't risking it and fireball logging his tower. So I just defend instead. I just fireball that. Uh. Yeah, I just went with the ice gun, I went with the hog rider, and yeah, GG's. Alrighty, so this guy was using uh like like uh Ram Rider, Mega Knight, Sparky, NATO, Freeze Deck, Goblin Gang with bats and stuff. So he goes Goblin Gang, so I just go for Ice Column, he goes the bats. I don't know what to do here, I don't know cycle log just in case you he's losing like a log bait deck or something. So I go for Musketeer and he went spike in the back same so this like right here I was very like um, like annoyed, like cycling Musketeer is pretty much dead of the Sparky. So I just go for the skeletons to tank the Sparky shot and yeah, beautiful skeletons because my musketeer stays alive and he goes to make a knight. So I just activate my king tower, go for a cannon. Not gonna lie, it's kind of risky going for a cannon just in case if he had like something like if he goes like giant from that Sparky or something. He goes ram right at left lane, so I just want skeletons for his Sparky. I mean, he gets a hit, but it's fine. I just go for a fireball as ram rider and yeah, I mean, now I know what he's using, so. I mean, I was still, like, kind of very scared here, like, I didn't want to, like, lose, like, I didn't want to have, like, a w one loss, and I haven't even reached 10 wins, like, that's, that's very sad. Like, it's not sad, but it's, like, uh, like, it's annoying, like, I don't want to get a, like, loss. So, yeah, I, just, I didn't want to take any more damage, so I just went for Ice Spirit, Ice Gun for the Goblin Gang, and he goes Sparky in the back. So, I just go Hawk Skeleton the Flame, and he, he narrows this. And when he nated this, I'm like, oh no, this is going to be very bad. Yes, NATO as well. With Mega Knight and Ram Rider, it's going to be very tough. Like, I can't make any mistakes. So I just go for Musketeer. He goes to Mega Knight in front of this. So here, I went for Ice Spirit like that. So I wanted the Sparky to actually shoot before the Mega Knight kills it and it won't shoot. I went for a cannon. I uh, just logged. Uh, skeletons, and I, I went hog right uh, left lane. But then he froze this, so I had to log. Luckily, I only got one hit. I just go for skeletons for his Sparky, and yeah, like it's looking like kind of scary right now. I just go for uh, Ice Spirit for that. He goes Sparky in the back again, so I just go Ice Golem hog left lane. He goes the Mega Knight. So I do go for a cannon like that, because if he goes Ram Rider, I wanted to like defend the right lane, because my right lane has less HP. He goes Ram Rider, so I just log it, Ice Spirit left lane. I go for Ice Golem, I go for Skeletons to tank for the Sparky shot, so that my Ice Golem will like tank, uh, like like hold off the Mega Knife a little little while longer until I like take out his Ram Rider and everything, which he did the job, which is good. So yeah, I don't want to go Ice Golem hog left lane, because I was down like a lot of Alexa and it was just a mega knight, so I just went hog left lane just by itself. He went as Goblin Gang, so here I went with Musketeer, Cannon, Skeleton, up high. Good Skeletons because the Sparky actually shot. I went hog right left lane as well. Ice Spear, he goes in Nader, like pretty bad Nader. I just go for log. I just go for Skeletons. Ice Golem and Fireball, and yeah, GG's. That was like kind of scary, not gonna lie.
All right, so Lunx boys using Pekka Boot Spam. I wish I, I wish I get like Pekka Boot Spam a lot, like when I'm higher up. Hopefully, like I can do very well in this GT. He goes roll go, so I just go for an Ice Golem. The only thing, the only deck that's like it's gonna like, I'm scared of is the is Goblin Jewel. Easily the Goblin Jewel. If it wasn't for Goblin Jewel, like I have so much confidence, but the Goblin Jewel, like like it's very annoying. So yeah, I fought with Electro Wizard and. And he goes Magic Archer, so I was like pretty unlucky and annoying. But at least now I know what he's using, and like it's a pretty good matchup. So I just go Hog Ice Spear opposite lane. I always like to go opposite lane to his, to like my, my weak side tower. So like he can't like, for example, if there's a Pekka coming right now, he went with the Pekka. If I go with the Musketeer, he can't get like spell value on my weak side tower and my Musketeer. He has to go with like spell value. He has to go with like a f um. A spell on my strong side, which I don't mind. And he actually had the nader instead of the. Instead of the instead of a big spell, so uh, that was, uh, pretty annoying. So I just got ice cold and hog here because I knew he was pretty low in like low in Alexa. And he doesn't have Pekka in hand, so he has to like spend a lot here. He goes with Alexa Wizard and Fireball, so I just log. Here I was having second thoughts about using my skeletons. That's why I played it like that's why I played it a little bit late because and he was about it was able to get to it. It's just just because like because I knew he had bandit in hand and if he went with bandit I wouldn't have like anything for it. I'll have to go with a cannon. And, like I need my cannon for his um uh, battle ram. So he went so he went with bandit. So I just went with uh he also went with the magic archer. So I went I just went uh hug right lane, just go for an ice golem. He went pretty aggressive left lane, yeah. So luckily I, I went hog right, right lane as well and defended this pretty easily and I got a lot of damage. Here, yeah, like I knew I was up in Alexa, so I just log his tower. I just go for a hog right, he goes battle ram, so I just go for a cannon. Oh yeah, this guy, this guy did have a big spell, he had the fireball. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So I just go for musketeer, I went for ice spirit to keep my cannon alive, like it will be very useful to defend. Yeah, he did have he did have the fireball, so I just go for skeletons, but oh, but he didn't have a small spell. That's the thing. He had nader instead of like zap or something. So, let's go for a cannon, ice golem, ice spirit, skeletons. I'm not gonna lie, this was kind of scary. So here, um, I just got that bandicoot. I just fumbled the magic archer. I just logged the roll ghost. I just go for a cannon up high. He did a prediction fireball right here and. Bro, that was like very scary if the battle ramp comes to my tower. So yeah, I didn't want to go for a hog because he would just like go ahead. He had nader anyway, so so I just went ice going for the bandit. You guys go, so I just go for a hog right lane. I just fobble the, the magic archer, I go for a cannon. Pretty bad nader by him, and my hog actually gets one hit and all I need now is a fireball and yeah, GG's. Alrighty, so the best was using Royal Giant, but I hit the Electro Spirit instead of the the Cage. So I just went also Ice Golem, Skeletons, the same lane as Mega Minion. I just gave Musketeer and, and Cannon. Oh, he also had the Lining instead of the Fire Fireball. He went Fisherman like that, pretty bad Fisherman. So I just went Hogwarts right left lane. I uh, let the Musketeer go. I just kite the Dark Prince with an Ice Golem. So right here, I'm just like, you know, saving my Alexa, see what, he, what see what he's going to do. And I'm pretty sure we're like even in Alexa, like he 100% he's not up. So I just, I just follow the Mother Witch because why not, you know, like it's 4 for 4 and I like get damage on this tower. And yeah, it's like honestly like a very good thing to do. So you guys make a minion, so I just go for a log. I don't know why I logged that side, I should have logged left lane, but it's fine, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I was I was getting ready to go hog just in case if he went roll giant. 
it was she did, but I decided not to go for Hog. I just wanted to defend instead. So I go Musketeer, I Cannon, and Skeletons. Yeah, pretty easy defense. So yeah, he went Dark Prince like that. So I went to Ice Golem Hog rather right immediately because the only thing he has right now is a Fisherman. Mm -hmm. So I just locked his Dark Prince and went with an Ice Spirit. And he also missed his Fisherman. Like, he still activated King Tail with the Ice Golem, but Magrata got an extra hit. So here, I'm not going to lie, if Double Alexa didn't come, I would have 100% lost the game here, I think. Because, like, he, like, he had a huge push right here, and I like I was pretty low on Alexa, so luckily Double Alexa came, I think it saved me. He also went as a Lining, and my Royal Giant gets, the Royal Giant gets, like, three hits, so... Oh, so he's pretty much almost back in damage. So I just go for a Hog, Magrata gets a hit, that's really good. So I'll go for Nice Column, Musketeer. I'll just fireball that. See, so yeah, I'll just go for a log and I go for the Hog Rider to kill the Fisherman. I also hit the Electric Spirit, so that's very lucky. My Hog Rider gets one hit. It's alright, at least better than nothing. So I'll just go for Musketeer up high, go for Ice Column, Cannon, uh, Log. I'll just go for another Hog Rider, Ice Spirit, and yeah, GG's. Yeah, so let's go. I got the 10 uh, Hopefully, my next GT video will be me getting 20 and 0, hopefully. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.